Hello YouTube chess lovers my friends this is Gunjan here welcome to the 55th episode of dirty chess tricks in this episode I'm going to show you a wonderful attacking and a tricky line against shielding gambit from the white perspective the opening arises after the following order e4 e5 and it doesn't matter whether white continue with knight to f3 or bishop to c4 let's say in this game white played bishop to c4 first and after knight to c6 he continued with knight to f3 now the typical shilling gambit arises on the board after the move knight to d4 which is in fact at club level very effective and black is playing for one card hoping that white will take this pawn after that queen to g5 gives black a very good game just within the opening stage first let me quickly highlight what is the problem in this position so as a wide if you reach this position first time you might be tempted to go ahead with knight captures f7 which in fact hit the two piece but actually here the fun begins for the black cam as after queen captures g2 attacking the rook rook to f1 and now the winning move queen captures e4 and no matter how ever white blocks he has a completely losing position just within seven move of the game so no wonder this sort of attack attract a lot of beginners and if you check out youtube there are a lot of videos exist in this line which no doubt attract many people Now the people who know about this trap they can easily refute this gambit either with c3 d3 or castle and all this moves gives white a slight advantage however personally i think middle game theory is not that clear for the white camp so if black prepares well then obviously he can get a very good game so that's the reason why i have come up with this video which not only gives you a very attacking system against this line but it also creates so many problems for the black king and if your opponent doesn't defend accurately then game can be finished very quickly the funny part is we are going to start with knight captures e5 which black player will delighted as he's going to spring out queen to g5 instantly and thinking that yet another of my opponent fall into this trap but the matter of fact is it is now white who is going to surprise black with the following sequence bishop captures f7 check king to e7 is most popular choice however i have also covered king to d8 in the pgn which in fact not a good option either for the black camp okay king to e7 black keep pressurizing two pieces and don't forget the g2 pawn is also hanging but here comes the point behind playing this line white is going to castle at this point sacrificing the whole piece now black is forced to capture this piece as if he continue to deny the piece with knight to f6 then we can simply consolidate this knight with the move f4 and now the naked king in the center gives white a tremendous advantage in this position so obviously black is not going to miss out this and he is definitely going to grab this piece thinking that white has made an opening disaster but guess what here is the moment where fun begins for the white camp 
the forcing sequence goes as follow bishop captures g8 rook captures g8 now c3 attacking the knight doesn't matter wherever this knight goes most accurate choice is knight to c6 after that yup you guessed it d4 attacking the queen queen to f6 and now this pawn steamroller literally annoy black all pieces with d5 black has to play knight to e5 and after that yep you cast it f4 another jab in the center and after knight to f7 and the move e5 <laughs> Well, yup, we have sacrificed our peace, but see yourself who is literally enjoying the game and toying with your opponent. The beauty about this variation is every move is forced up to this point, and as black king is stuck in the center, white has an ample compensation with this tremendous pawn chain at the center of the board an upcoming attack where for a human black side it is almost undefendable now to illustrate the danger in this position i like to show you a model game which will give you a clear path how white should continue from here onwards we are following a game between two 2100 plus rated opponent where black continue with queen to h6 getting out of the attack and yup you can go ahead with the move f5 but i like what white did in this game namely knight to d2 and that knight is heading towards the juicy center e4 square where even though black knows about this he can't do anything okay king to d8 happen liberating the bishop knight to e4 as expected and now bishop to e7 black is trying to get his pieces out somehow in order to achieve the equality well white first done a consolidating move king to h1 and now in the view of f5 black move the queen out with queen to h4 but it turns out that after white's next move it is confirmed that white is having a huge advantage from this position can you guess the first killing move of the game yes you are absolutely right if you come up with this move d6 completely shutting down black queen side and after pawn takes and pawn takes the horrible scenario for the black camp occurs on the board with bishop to f6 and queen to d5 attacking the weak babies in the black camp it doesn't matter wherever the black rook moves in the game choose the move rook to e8 counter attacking the white knight but white is not in a rush he simply developed the rest of the army with bishop to e3 and once the rook join into the attack it is the death knell for the black camp rook to e6 happened defending the knight and now the last piece come into the frame rook a to e1 <laughs> and i think this sums up very well that even though white is a material down look at his queen side completely jam up and virtually speaking at this point white is in fact a piece ahead well the game finished very quickly from this position black responded with king to e8 only to face this rude shock knight to c5 bam the first important point black cannot take on d6 the simple reason is after bishop to f2 we have a discover check to the king as well as attack on the queen and the resulting sequence let's say bishop to e7 queen captures d6 knight captures d6 
and now bishop captures h4 and funny enough it is white who is come up with an exchange up so practically speaking that rook cannot move so in the game black decided to play knight to d8 defending the rook but i think after white's next reply black sees that his position is a complete goner the third critical blow happened at this point yup it's f5 <laughs> and white says well i'm going to grab your rook for free as if you try to give an exchange sack with rook captures e3 white can deliver a checkmate at the back rank so unfortunately that rook cannot move and in the game black tried the move bishop to e5 which threatens a checkmate but i don't think so a 2200 will miss that h3 happen and after queen to g3 white can simply parry all the threats with bishop to g1 and now indeed threatening two of the black pieces So black finally decide that okay let me just get rid of this very annoying d6 pawn but doing so he done the final mistake of the game as white deliver this finishing knot maybe you can try it just pause the video and find out a sequence where white is completely winning Are you ready? Let's start. F captures e6, d captures e6, knight captures e6, and after knight captures e6, here comes the final blow. Rook captures e6. <laughs> and the point is after bishop takes and queen takes, doesn't matter whatever black plays, he get a completely losing position. You can't block with the bishop. as you are going to lose a piece and if you continue with king to d8 then after white's next accurate response rook to f7 there is no way black can save the checkmate that's it guys i hope you enjoy and learn this wonderful attacking system against the shilling gambit remember play the move knight captures e5 allow your opponent to play queen to g5 and then shock him with the following sequence bishop captures f7 king to e7 and now castle sacrificing the knight but winning the game with a tremendous attacking position thank you for watching this video feel free to like subscribe and comment and i will meet you in my next episode very soon bye and take care